Dan from Livewire Films here with a real quick screencast to show you a tip that has to do with Facebook. Now this tip isn't for everybody. This is only for those of you who actually own and manage the Facebook fan page for your business. Doing this can actually drive traffic to your Facebook page, to your website, and hopefully increase a little bit of revenue, bring some more new clients your way for whatever your business is. So let's get started. I'm gonna go to Facebook. Here I'm logged in to my personal page, and I'm gonna start with my profile to show you uh, what this is all about. I'm gonna go to my info tab, and it's gonna display all my profile information. Here we can see under employers that I am employed with Livewire Films, which is the company that I own. So you can also see that it's got this generic thumbnail that tells me that this isn't connected to the actual Livewire Films page, which does exist. So I'm gonna start out and click on the link for Livewire Films. Now this is a little misleading. It brings me to a page that looks like it's a working Facebook page, but it's actually not. Uh, what Facebook does is if there isn't a presence for a business, it will either do kind of a search throughout Facebook and show related posts like it does here, or it might even go out to Wikipedia and scrub information and put in Wikipedia information in place of your page. So it may not be accurate or it might be pretty vague. So here's what you can do to claim it and make this actually your page. There's a link here that says, is this your page? By clicking on this, it's gonna let us merge this generic page with the actual Facebook page that we manage. The first little uh, pop-up page is gonna want you to claim your page. So here you have to check a box saying that you certify that you're the official representative of your particular company. So make sure that you are. If you're not, and you know the person who does manage this Facebook page, send this tip to them because it really can benefit your company. Okay, so I checked the box, I'm gonna hit confirm, then it's gonna bring up Livewire Films and make me confirm again. So I'll click on next. All right, so now here's a form that we fill out and this is gonna be the key thing. Page URL, currently this is the uh, URL for this generic page. So I need to go and get the URL for my Facebook page and I actually have it open here, which is facebook.com slash Livewire Films. So I'm gonna copy that, come in here, and paste it. Pretty simple so far. Your relation to the page. I'm gonna say I'm the owner. Go through some authentication information here to make sure that it's you. You have to put the email that's linked and associated with your personal profile, and it gives you these instructions here. So I'm gonna put my information. And once you have uh, that information typed in, then here you read the small print, and you have to agree to that, read the other small print, and agree to that. And then basically you put your name to sign it and click submit. Okay, so at this point, it is gonna send an email to your email account that you just put in there and give you a link that you have to click to confirm and then it's gonna complete that request. Now here's the bummer, is I was told, because I found this tip through a forum on Facebook where people were talking about how to do this. And the consensus was that Facebook is about a month behind on processing these requests. Apparently they have a, a backlog or something. So don't expect this to happen really fast. Just know that at least you got your request in there and, uh, and they'll take care of it. But according to the forum that I was reading, people are hearing back eventually and this is happening where their Facebook page is getting merged up. So it's definitely a benefit. So here's a quick look at the email that you're gonna receive from the Facebook team that confirms that you did send that. So you just gotta click on this link here and then it'll bring you back to Facebook and tell you that you're good to go. The email response that's gonna come shortly, again, might be about a month. <laughs> so just uh, be patient with this and uh, hopefully it will, like I said, drive more traffic to your site. So I hope this little tip was a benefit for you. And like I said, if you're not that person who manages the Facebook page for your business, send this along. And, uh, and also, go back and check out my website, livewirefilms.com. If there's any video production service that uh, you need, we might be able to offer a solution for you. Otherwise, go here on our tips and tricks link, and you'll see a growing number of these tips and screencasts that will hopefully offer some things that will help you out day to day. Usually they're technology related, website related, things like that. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great day.